All right, everyone. Today we're going to be calculating the stress on this aircraft tow bar. So that's this little thing here, which is used to pull an airplane. And uh, basically, we got a single hydraulic cylinder here, 25 millimeters in diameter. And then the arm and wheel units, there's two of them on either side. And that's element D, E, F. So the big wheel here, that's basically the airplane's front wheel. And the tow bar itself is 200 kilograms. So we're going to use that, the weight of the tow bar, draw some free body diagrams, and figure out the stress in that little green rod there. So first step, free body diagrams. You don't always know which one to do, so you just start trying and see where it leads. So we'll start with the whole tow bar here. And basically we'll draw the little arm here for the wheels, and then the little element that we're trying to calculate the stress in. Okay, so then we start filling in the, the forces. So from the airplane front wheel itself, we're just gonna put an AY and an AX. We, we don't know these forces, so special hint, we're gonna have to sum moments about this point because we don't know what's going on there. Then we got the weight in the middle of the tow bar. So the, uh, the weight is 200 kilograms, and then at the bottom, we have this reaction from the ground. So the reaction is 850 millimeters away from this point, uh, the airplane front wheel, and we can calculate, or it's, it's actually given in the figure, the 1150 millimeters moment arm for the weight. So uh, we can calculate the weight, we can convert it to, from kilograms to newtons just using gravity, mg there, f equals mg. Then as I said, we'll sum all the moments about point A and sum of all the moments got to be equal to zero because this thing's not rotating. So we got the 850R, and then we're going to subtract, because it's in the opposite sense, the 1150 times the weight that we calculated of 1,962 newtons. And we can solve this quite easily. And the reaction is 2,655 newtons. So we'll highlight that. We'll need it later. Next, we just start the free body diagram for... The, uh, this time we'll do the two wheel units, okay? Because we see at the top, we basically have this reaction D, which is um, obviously single force member. So it's just connected on either ends. So that's gonna allow us to figure out the force in the element in DC that we're trying to figure out. So we're gonna draw the elements D, E, F here. And so we'll just get started, we'll draw the arm, and again, we'll draw the reactions, this time, we're gonna draw the force in the thing we're trying to figure out, DC or CD, and we'll draw it pushing, so it, it'll be compression in that case. Then we know we have this, this point where we connect to the, to the tow bar itself, point E, put an EX and an EY, and finally the reaction that we've already calculated. So again, we don't know EX and EY, so that means we gotta sum the moments about that point because that will allow us to, um, to basically not know those two things and still be able to solve for something, in this case, FCD. So we'll write down the value of our reaction, the 2,655 that we calculated, and then we'll try and get the moment arms. So that one is 500 millimeters from point E, and it looks like FCD is 550 millimeters, just uh, looking at the figure there. So next we're gonna to have to do some, some trigonometry here to figure out the angle of, uh, of this element, CD. So we'll take the tan of uh, the angle and we have to, first we have to label this angle. So which one are we trying to figure out? So we're gonna define alpha as the angle between horizontal and FCD. So it's that small angle there. So the tan of alpha, which you know, so katoa, so you got opposite over adjacent, so it's 100 divided by 675. So you can look at that figure, you see the 100 and the 675 there. So that allows us to solve for alpha, and alpha is 8.43 uh, 8 degrees. So we'll put it there now. Next with this alpha, we're able to sum the moments about E because we have the two components. The vertical component of FCD is not gonna play in because it's gonna go through the point E. It's the horizontal component, which is going to be acting at 550. So sum of all the moments about E is equal to zero. So that means we got FCD 
multiplied uh, by the cosine of this angle we found and multiply that by the moment arm of 550 millimeters. Then we go for the, uh, the reaction. We'll just pop it right onto the other side already because we can see from the figure it's opposing. So we get the 500 millimeters times the reaction, 2,655. And solving, running out of space here, so we're gonna have to teleport, use a teleportation purple star. Over in this other region, we can solve FCD equals 2,440 newtons, 39.5. We'll highlight that. That's the last thing we need to calculate the stress because we know that stress equals F over A. So all that's left is to just pop this into the stress formula. So we have uh, obviously compression. We said earlier it was compression. So we get the 2439.5 newtons all divided by pi times the radius squared. It's 25 millimeters in diameter. Actually, scratch that. Let's lose, uh, yeah, let's make sure we use newtons and millimeters. That way we always come out with MPA. It's very nice like that. And we put the 25 millimeters squared. And this all gives us big moment, final answer, 4.97 MPA. So if that's what you got, if you pause the video at the start, you try to solve for yourself, then good job. If not, just look over carefully. It can be tricky to know which, uh, which free body diagram to be drawing and stuff. So stress CD 4.97, we always wanna make it real clear what's our final answer. So underline it and call it a day. All right, thanks for watching.